loss to Callie and Lucy Kovalova okay. in the round of 16 in the most recent Atlanta Slam. So here we go. Let's play pickleball. And the other thing Brooke Buckner does is walks to the line and absolutely bangs a serve every time. One zero two. Yes, please. Oh, -ho. oh, that's in. Oh my goodness gracious. Firefight, miss hit, corner pocket from Zoe Wong, but that was that was everything right there. Zoe starting it with two. You saw the punch two, from zero, two. Uh, the midsection, and Kate Fahey was ready for yes. all of it. Not again. Oh, God. Wow. Point. Yes, again, the second apology from Zoe, who's smiling over there, but uh, hey, if the hands are there, the hands are there. Yeah, great pressure from Caitlin Christian. Didn't work out, but I loved it. Side out. Now Zoe looking to come in hot. And ball back over to Fahey and Christian. Zero, three, one. Great start with some yes. nice play and some fortunate rolls and bounces. Point. And this is what you're gonna have. This is gonna be fast. Yes. One, three, one. Kate before this match and she said they're going to start out playing straight up so that's what you're seeing here with uh, Caitlin starting on the left and uh, we'll see if they tweak that throughout. One, three, two. That's just pretty. Point. Yeah, that's the combination that we're going to see a lot of really from both teams. Yes. But that drive, fantastic. Zoe late getting to her spot and Man, three, if you two. don't hit a clean first volley <laughs> and you can move like Caitlin Christian, it's it's an issue. Wow. Wow. Jeez, Point. my goodness. I mean, the sound's just different right. in this match, Adam. It is. Three apiece, three, three, rocketing start here. Sorry is returned. That's a shot that Kate is working on, I know. So, so she says sorry to her opponent. She turns around to Caitlin and goes, let's go. Yeah, right. so, <laughs> yeah. if you're looking for intensity, look no further than Kate Bay. That's nice, and Point. that's where that doubles prowess from tennis. Does anyone know how to move better than a tennis doubles play? Absolutely not. And Caitlin Christian a couple times just Five, posting three, up in the middle up there at the kitchen line, and you can't keep the ball away from her, especially when her partner has that big time drive. Point. Wow, and they give Five, up the seven, first three. Two. Seven, three, two. And there goes the, the jet right on cue. balance and a little off speed, but it worked. Yeah, I was not expecting to see Buckner on the left side at all during hey, this match, but exactly. unwinding the stack is a problem. So here we are. And a just violent ATP. I said we're collecting them in threes. That's now nine in a row. This is crazy. Zoe Wong has not served in this game. goes deep, but what a response. Yeah, fantastic ball movement, too, from all four Three, nine, ladies one. up at the kitchen, dinking with a purpose. Oh, just pretty Thank from Kate sure. Fahey, and when she came onto the scene, there was no offense at the kitchen. She just made balls, which was impressive. Three, nine, now she's adding that to her doubles game.
just just ripping ground strokes and stuff comes quickly from tennis but the nuance of attacking from the kitchen is definitely something that takes a while to get used to couldn't get the ball on the ground and just yield one so two points away for the 18th seed to take game number one What a shot from Brooke Buckner. That has been a work in progress. Going to be there, ready for prime time, and now ready for Humana Championship Court. That was awesome. A beauty from a low position. Huge stop there for Buckner and Wong. So can they get a chunk of their own here? Down five. Four nine one. Second serve. Notice the returns going to Wong. You just do not want to deal with Buckner. Four, nine, Smart eight. strategy. And an empty Back trip out. for the 12. So uh, that was not what they needed. Nine, four, one. Second serve. It's probably should have just step into that and drive it with Caitlin crashing. I think that ball's wide. Yeah, it's definitely wide. Yeah, as we're, we're, we're sitting right up. Yeah, that ball's line. wide. I can't call this angle. I mean, I don't blame Kate for challenging because it was wonky how we got there, but after video review, call stand, ball's out. Lost challenge, lost timeout. And I think, one time out remaining, and one time I mean out this, remaining. that we'll might have been judged differently earlier. Correct. I, I, I would agree completely, because that was right on the, the on that line, percentage, that percentage yes, line of 25. Yes, yes. so good job. Uh, thank you, Jim Price, for Time giving in. us uh, that answer. And Buckner and Wong again have a chance. Just can't get the ball. They're getting nowhere near the kitchen. I mean, it's closed. Yeah, and re returns are going to continue to go to Zoe Wong as well. If if, if Christian and uh, Fahey change, I'd be shocked. That's great power from Kate Fahey right there. And when you're attacking from your outside wing cross court, you better have a lot yes. of power, and Kate does. To jam up Zoe from that position is well done. Seventeenth shot drop and they finally win it. But I love the communication. Game They've point. only played one other tournament and they are at game point. Zoe Wong, but I like the aggression from Caitlin Christian yes. throughout that point. Second try here. And there you see another new mentality in our sport. You used to be under siege, you're trying to drop the ball. People are just driving through that now, Adam. Yeah, there has to be a blend. So you, you often drive your third shot to get a fifth shot drop. The same thing applies when you're scrambling. really the first puppety type yes, point yes. from and Zoe she's Wong. She's got it. Yeah, just manipulating the ball, spreading out uh, uh, the opponents, forcing an imbalance, and then taking advantage Five, of nine, it one. when you do. Ah! I mean, 
and it's, it's tough to, to get players off balance these days. The athleticism is so ridiculous. So the shots uh, and the combination of shots to do it are just so important. Oh, off the tape. Yeah, that's 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 a forehand drive you don't want to wear. Uh -uh. That's not the one you want to wear. I'll return back over <laughs> yeah. to Zoe, please. I mean, what do you? Do we, that's, you have to have discipline. Uh, close on the sideline there is all I'll say. Yeah, Zoe nodded in approval Game after. Point. I'd love to see that if the truck has a look at it. That was not obviously wide. Game point. Second serve. And now a little issue. Yeah, just there Getting it is. In. Just oh. caught. Just ten caught. That's, I love this. We can call for it, and it's there in 10 seconds. Great drive, truck. And, oh, Caitlin oh, Christian. Oh, Zoe's like, all right, I got an angle for you. Go get that one. It's, it, it's so frustrating when your partner does something special and then you leave one yes. high and lose the point or make that loose error. Yeah. I know Kate Fahey is very annoyed with herself after that great get uh, from Caitlin Christian. Six, ten, one. Yeah, set up through the middle, finished the shot on the outside. Well done by Zoe there, but the thirds, there's been one point that they've scored, and that was when the ball went to Brooke. Six, ten, two. Now, the tape certainly played a role in that, but. That's, that's, that's Caitlin would love to have that one again. Yeah, that's scrumptious for Caitlin Christian. She will not miss that ball again in this match. Seven, ten, two. Stop release warning that needs to be below the top of your Number one of the day. Okay, so each player gets a warning, so there's Zoe's warning. Seven, ten, two. And if you had Zoe Wong on the bingo card for first illegal serve call, there's nope. no way. No, 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 no. <laughs> All right, another game point here for Fahey and Christian. That'll do it. So hot start for Buckner and Wong, and then it was mostly Christian and Fahey. We were partners. We've won some titles, oh, me yes. and Adam Stone. So uh, let's see if there's a response from Buckner and Wong here in game two. Inside out forehand from Caitlin Christian. Oh, yes. Was crushed. Great hands from Zoe Wong. Because your paddle's in the middle. I don't know how she got that Ooh. thing down. That was awesome. Zero, zero, one. Point. Miss there from Kate Fahey, but some some quick hitting early in the rally points from Fahey and Christian. One, zero, but one. I was more impressed with the consistent kitchen play of them uh, throughout game one. Point. Uh -oh. right. Right, right. Yeah. There you did. You just stepped right in it, didn't you? I did. That's part of the deal, though. <laughs> it uh, is. But I really think I so. agree with you, just to be clear. <laughs> I'll take I'll take 25% since that's the popular percentage to be throwing around these days. Appreciate that. Yeah. May we comment on the full swing inside out from Kate Fahey in the middle of that? Oh, yes, we can. Unbelievable. The inside outs are, are, are just so impressive. Almost a lot of people have it these days, too. Yeah. It used to be kind of a, a special thing. It's it's almost, almost you have a to requirement have it. If you want to be point. a top lady, you have to have it. Great Three, speed up two. from Brooke Buckner there through the middle. Love to have that all day long, but same start up three nothing. Now what do they do with it this time? Wong and Buckner. Oh my! Another great look. Just 
pulled wide. Yeah, so Buckner setting up with a counterattack. Yes. A point to go set up Zoe Wong with a great forehand roll from the kitchen. One, three, one. So if the setups are there, Zoe's going to have to start capitalizing from the left side on some of these situations. That's just pretty. Point. Don't have to do too much. Well done, Caitlin. A nice little wrist manipulation to push that ball right up the line. Looked a little bit Two, like three, Catherine Parento yeah. there on that shot. Yeah, there's the spot Man. there. Just pushes so it. it. Yeah, pushes it up the line with spin and pace. Two, Zoe three, Wong, two. great ball. Still up, end up winning it, but Caitlin Christian is four feet wide. I mean, that's a layup ATP. Well, I mean, if you're not going to go for the ATP, at least put it in the kitchen, yeah, and why, she did that. That's why I said, oh, no. I like the whole house was on fire, and they still <laughs> won the rally. Stan Christian gets the glory with another nice inside out forehand up the line. But that's like five balls from the midcourt uh, uh, from Kate Fahey to, to give Christian that opportunity. No panic. ball from Zoe there. Might have caught the line, but that ball took off either way. That's great spin from Zoe Wong three eating up one. Caitlin Christian. But here we go, just like game one, three nothing lead evaporates. Oh, oh my. Caitlin Christian, little step back inside out. Let's go. Let's Look at this it. thing. That Look at the four. Wow, I mean, Brooks, like, there's no way there's any room over there. I mean, Brooks not even cheating middle. No. She just got beat up the line. Point. And I really think uh, we've talked about the, you know, the ball movement of Zoe Wong. I think Point right now the two. footwork and the athleticism of Fahey and Christian is neutralizing that in a big way up at the kitchen. Side out. And then there you see the fiery Kate Fahey not happy about what happened on the point before. A little extra Point. on Point. that one. You know, they talked, Annalie Waters and Catherine Parento did about the poaching. We've seen Caitlin Christian, but she rocked a forehand there. Fahey was nowhere close to the two. line. Something for that team to look at. It just changed when Buckner got the two-handed backhand. Absolutely right. So nice firefight. Really good stuff uh, from the ladies. Caitlin fading a couple jam ups there. But Zoe on that last ball, getting it down was the key for the last shot. Four, four, one. But serves a replayed here. Bad luck, great poach from Brooke. Brooke, what do you have to do around here? She did everything right. And then that lady right there got it back, did Kate Fahey. Man, she's a ball maker. She is tough out there. Uh-oh. Point. A little wild on that one after 
threading one inside out down the line earlier. Yeah, I think she's looking there for Five, Zoe's two. outside hip, and that is a tough place to go. Not, uh, not something that can't be done, but you have to be careful. I risk. Oh, oh! Yeah. I'm going to show you one thing, and then full knife. Yes. There's no strings on that no, paddle, I've but been, my goodness, wow. that's a beauty. Four, five, one. Okay, Caitlin. You can just, just start with Kate, and you can add the Lynn if yeah. you need to yeah. with, with that exactly. team on the far end. Got to be careful with all you. And then the, your Christians, and <laughs> it's a lot, lot, lot going on over there. Oh, man, I love the move. Yeah, that's, that's, that's one of her biggest tools yes. is the movement yeah. and, and, the and, and the explosion. So Five, use one. it. Even if it doesn't work, stick with it. Just pushing them back. Full on solo shake and bake from Zoe Wong. Six, four, Took her epitomizes a Wolverine in the way six, four, she plays. One. Feisty, it's her. She is the first of two Michigan players we'll have. We'll have one in our final match as well. That'd be Ryan Fu. Yeah. All right, and Buckner inserting herself, just firing off the bounce right at the midsection of Caitlin Christian to get that whole. A series of events started. And uh, right on cue, the other Michigan player here, Brooke Buckner, who was a superstar in Michigan for tennis. Point. And a few errors creeping in on the other side now, and they've got them doubled up. So this time they had the lead, gave it up, but now have gotten it back and have a stranglehold on game two. Point. All right, so, I mean, even when you move as well as Caitlin Christian does, the unwinding is, 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 a, a, is, is a thing with the big serves and the big drives. And, and uh, Zoe Wong has cleaned up uh, yes. some third shots and, and she's going more towards the drive, but it, it's a cleaner ball hitting her spots better. And, and that's really the difference here. Wow, and that's unlucky. And look at this in record time. Game point, Game point for Buckner and Wong. 10-4-1. Second, third. <laughs> Game point. So he's like, I just hit this most ridiculous short hop backhand lob, and if she lets the overhead go, she'd be Ten tapping four, paddles two. right now. I mean, this, this game is not sealed, but I love to see a player being targeted in a game, figure it out, and start to play better and, and earn their team a, a good situation in game two. Yeah, because then the other side's going to go, well, we don't really love Brooks' uh -huh. forehand and backhand coming at us, but Zoe's eating us up right now. We might have to go there. I love that she just stayed there. Uh-huh. Yeah, just post up. Especially with where that the, the ball that Zoe hit going behind her, she doesn't have to recover back to her spot because it's going to be so tough to get it there. Yeah, this is this is Zoe's floor has certainly risen. Uh -huh. Not her favorite thirds game one, but you see all the tools here in game, game two. Point. Third Thank game point one. for Buckner and Wong to force a third game. Great Second volley third. from Christian. Point. Yeah, nice short stroke from Caitlin. Had to be with uh, Zoe Wong rearing Ten back on the two-hander off the bounce. Okay. Oh, it's Love it's it. going to be full on. <laughs> I mean, I've seen her take the side of her paddle into her thigh at 100 miles an hour. I don't know how she does it. I remember that one. At least Hunter Johnson earlier was using yes. the flat no. side when he was upset yeah. with himself. Kate goes full hammer. Uh-huh. Missed return from Buckner, and they got to be careful Good here.
Second serve. I'm not so sure, but I do think it went yeah. long. It was there, but was. Uh, just not enough spin. Because you saw Buckner was on the forehand. Oh, no. So it looked promising. It wasn't. Here comes another game point. I hate those off the hand like that. That was smoke, too, from Kate. And that Point will do it. So we loved this matchup. We thought it might go three based on the players involved, and that is exactly what we're going to get. Tale of two games there, though. Guaranteed pickleball play every week. No hassle, no paddle stacking lines, no worries. Join the Pickleball League today and up your game with competitive, consistent, well-matched play. Connect with your local leagues, check live rankings on your phone, and play with ease. Whether you're there to socialize with your community, network across the net, or have fun playing your favorite sport, leagues are a stress-free way to enjoy your play. Find your closest league at pickleball.com and click leagues today to get started. Players, all the players love it, whether they've had Two success ball. there or not. Game three, time in. So Zero here we go, minute. game three. speed down the line and that was staying in. Yeah, beautiful from Kate Fahey. And I, I think Kate Fahey for the most part played about the same in yes. game one and two. It was Caitlin Christian that had a bit of a dip in level for game two. So we'll have to monitor her consistency early. And Kate. Oh, if that other hand hadn't, her left hand <laughs> just saved her thigh. <laughs> she was gonna swing the paddle again. And so a couple little middle balls again, second huh? tournament. That ball's got, and they communicated so well, but guess what pressure does? It shuts your mouth. It certainly does. Uh, that's something you don't notice. A lot of tangible things with the pressure, but there's, there's other things that go along with it. Zoe oh, piled in, and she does not say let's go loudly very often, Zoe no. Long. So that was fantastic. Great One, third, zero. great fifth, and some nice pressure once Zoe got up to the kitchen. That's what her team is going to need. Wow. And that's what happens Point. if Zoe's doing great with the thirds because rocket ships come flying off the paddle of Brooke Buckner. Yeah, Caitlin Christian almost turned yes. her body. Because she was leaning middle, and that's not where the ball no. went. That's how hard Brooke hits it. Second third. Okay. It uh, the stakes have been escalated. Yes. Yeah. The the as has the volume. <laughs> the, vo the volume especially. I mean it means a lot. No! Uh -oh. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Volume. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, we're, uh, 11. We're, 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 we're we're eleven. Great backhand from Kate Fahey. Oh, a little cut, sir. Just too high. They were brilliant with drive, crash, haven't been able to get back to that. chance to go get a ball that was floating and let it get to Brooke and that cost them so one, two, two. we will switch ends when one of the teams gets to six yeah that's beautiful roll from Brooke Buckner out so of the air both Buckner and Wong 
peppering the backhand side of Kate Fahey and just opening up the court for Brooke Buckner to do her thing. Again, Zoe Wong just keeps that paddle so pretty out in front. But you're, you're not supposed to be able to get power like that I know. with no backswing, but Zoe Wong can do it. Again, Kate Second slides third. it down the line and Brooke knows it. Yeah, that's some good stuff from Kate Fahey. She has actually pulled from a low position a couple of those up the line of Brooke Buckner and at the body of Zoe Wong fully cross court. So that's some, some tough offense from a tough spot for Kate Fahey. But a dig from Buckner, and that's the ball I was talking about. Zoe needs to just go be a monster. And that was like five shuffles. Yes. So that was not easy for Zoe to get there, but I like that uh, kind of eye of the tiger there to not wait for the ball to travel to her partner, play that dominant left side and get it done. Oh my, and then it's off balance coming forward. So again, Wong and Buckner, three-point lead at the beginning. They held it in game two and did not in game one. one. What is going to happen here? Come on. Second, third. Yeah, and really, I mean, I think the quick-hitting points for Christian and Fahey have really only happened the first five minutes yeah, of game they've one. Been it, it is completely gone one since then, two. and that's a problem. Yeah, I'd rather see Kate just step into these thirds and rip it because the pressure that Christian puts on, even if the return is decent, that's what that's what got them a win in game one. Even if Christian can't hit it with the paddle, just knowing how athletic she is and how well she moves will squeeze her opponents force them to go for too much. And that Boy. is a couple awkward swings on first volleys from Caitlin Christian. With her singles prowess, that does surprise me. Yeah, that's uh, just fooled Boy. from a ball on the baseline. Oh, oh, oh my, oh, she got it. Brooke had a full swing and it was gonna be a winner, but we can't criticize no. Zoe. We've been telling her, get in there. We can't just change our mind and have, look at that, because that is going to be, Kate Fahey's uh -huh. left foot is gonna get destroyed. But uh, what a stab though. So another chance to switch with a huge lead. Oh no, and she forgot. Wow. Oh. Kate Fahey Bye. forgot to switch, still got there, and they got out of the door. With Brooke Buckner hitting <laughs> yes. a forehand. How Look does at this. that happen? You don't take left turns in pickleball. <laughs> you go diagonally. <laughs> oh, man. So this is a massive situation yes. here. Wow. Two by one. Oh, the baby's the third. third. Rip that thing. Rep it. Use your partner. That's what Caitlin Christian is best at. Two, five, two. That's okay. That's what you want. I'm on board with yes. all of that. And, and the thing is, is if it doesn't work out on the third shot drive, you can just drop the fifth. Yes. If Caitlin is, is not uh, able to get that ball up at the kitchen line with the poach, no worries. Point. So a little reach, a little off balance. And on the hand, this is fine. You, you don't yes. want it to be 40 degrees in no. St. George, Utah yes. and catch no. one off the finger. No, that one you'll feel for 10 days. Second serve. And oh. she's still, I, that's a great rep right there. 6 2 Okay, so they switch ends and get a couple of misses from Wong. So, can they get back to fast pace pickle? 2 6 1. They Second did, third. and they missed it, Bunny. Yeah, it was it was a great setup. Cross body, forehand off the bounce from Kate Fahey, and then two cracks at it for Caitlin Christian. Oh, 
Oh, Kate was completely tied up, kind of swung at it, and then it was like, oh, I'm gonna let that go after all, and it's wide. Three, six, two. Point. Four, six, two. It's just right a little more than you, you can imagine pace-wise, because yeah. that's got spin on it. Yeah, instant redemption for Brooke Buckner, too, as she missed that return long, and very next Six, point. Four, from Kate Fahey. I actually don't mind the spot at all from Brooke Buckner, but that's just great movement from Kate. Just a half step to her left to guarantee that she's countering on the forehand side. That's great, out wide to Zoe, yes. and then knowing that Zoe is gonna protect the left foot of Brooke Buckner. So nice ball movement from Fahey. kitchen line, not trying to finish in one. Zoe Wong just taking her time, Four, knowing six, two, that Christian and Fahey are back. And the lead is down to one. And that is definitely the pattern at the kitchen. The person taking the most court at the kitchen line is Zoe Wong. And Christian and Fahey are forcing her to move as much as possible. Great aggressive volley there. So Fahey can't throw it back over. So side out. They've yet to score on this side, have Buckner and Wong. Six, five, one. Just tall enough. And then just, just hovered. Uh, it's like she was, she jumped too early. Yes. And she just kind of hung out. Six, five, two. Oh, no, yeah, that was a, that looked like my kind of jump. Yeah. <laughs> I think she hung out on her tippy toes, uh -huh. but it worked out. Right on the line. And look at this, another side out. Five, six, Chance to tie. I just hate that Kate doesn't go over there and take a forehand and just destroy that right, right there. That's only a couple feet yes. over on Christian's side. Five, six, You're asking two. a one-handed backhand versus her forehand. That's got to get fixed. Another one. We'll see if they get in, but an opportunity already lost. Do get a miss, so six apiece, four in a row since the side switch. 10 of the 12 points scored on the side that Christian and Fahey are on. Great move from Zoe Wong right there. Yeah, uh, Caitlin Christian trying to drop up the line and Zoe Wong is not having any of it. Six, six, one. from Kate Fahey. No chance for Brooke Buckner to get up to the kitchen line. Six, six, two. Wow, again, 
denied, and now it's in your head for sure. You know you've been on six forever. Yeah, great reload from Caitlin Christian. Always has not, I mean, hit a great initial attack. Initial speed up, fantastic. We'll get that paddle in good position for the second, especially at the pro level. Okay. And then self, bake it, shake it, Caitlin Christian it, and they have five in a row and the lead. What a move and incredible solo shake and bake yes. from Caitlin Christian. That's a great way to stop it from happening again. Oh my, so they call the timeout and they reap all the rewards. Still haven't scored on this side though. Six, seven, one. I love every bit of it. So, I mean, Zoe stepping into oh, the ball. You have an unwinding of the stack situation. Just gotta, gotta make it. Gotta execute. Six, seven, two. Wow. Point. And they finally get to lucky seven with a two e up the line speed up. Seven, seven, two. So it's tried to go to the well twice, but at least got to seven. So down the stretch they come. Seven, seven, one. Uh-oh. So hasn't lobbed all game. That's uh, nerves and uh, just can't happen. Yeah. Nerves can be shot selection. So Caitlin Christian is not short and she no. moves very well. Yeah. So that's that's one. not the spot to go. Yeah. They win it anyway, tight on the sideline there. Might have caught. Yes, it was. And Caitlin Christian making some nice adjustments yes. on the line speed ups of Zoe Wong, loading up on the forehand side and cracking some counters the last couple points. But then two of uh, moving on. Christian tries inside out, might have had him, but just clips the tape. Second so try to get to that all important 10 and force the game and match point pressure. And uh, tried to hit through a wall there, that did not go well. Yeah, drive the third shot when Brooke Buckner is transitioning back left to front right. Both players established at the kitchen line, drop the fifth. See if that pays off. Ah! Wow, it does, even though it shouldn't have. Yeah, that's a great <laughs> shot from Brooke Buckner. And I am liking what Christian and Fahey are doing at the kitchen line, though is uh, moving Zoe Wong and trying to create uh, something with that ball movement with the soft stuff. Oh dear. Yeah, I mean. So Zoe, couple times down the <laughs> yes. stretch here has just had a circuit blow. Yeah, well, Ka Caitlin just did it on the fifth shot, ill-advised drive, and uh, Zoe Wong, I guess, thought it looked fun to, to drive that fifth oh, ball. Oh, and then a Ooh. while, okay, nerves are a thing, uh -huh. folks. Nine, nine in the nine, third. Nine, Cross-court attack, quickly change everything. Match point, Butner and Wong. And that'll do it. 
What a shot from Zoe Wong. They have the lead, they give it up, and they come all the way back to win it. 11-9 in the third in our Wednesday marquee matchup. Well, ladies, it can be so hard. They won nine straight points in that game one to go up and then finally to win game one. What did you guys talk about? What needed to be changed? So uh, Brooke tell me the strategy, like I need to slow down and then play my game. Just be me. Yeah. And Brooke out there, it's four high-level tennis players. So obviously it looks a little bit like that sometimes. The ground strokes are phenomenal, but it is absolutely so high-level pickleball as well. Talk about the transition and playing against other women who you know have the same background as you. Yeah, I mean, for super athletic uh, women, I knew they were going to be super competitive. Um, Kate's one of the most competitive people that I know. Um, so I knew it was going to be a battle, uh, but I thought it was really fun. Um, I thought everyone played well um, and a bunch of different you know, ups and downs, but we pulled through. Zoe was Zoe, and I always trust her over there to do her thing. Zoe, you mentioned the schedule. You're just coming off of MLP last weekend. You said you got one day off before this tournament started? Yeah, so we got a day off on Monday and a sleep all day because too tired. We have a seven matches next week, so yeah, I'm blessed I make it today, yeah. And how's the body feel now? I feel great, just my legs are a little bit tired, yeah. All right, we're gonna let you get off court. You rest up, you gotta play tomorrow. Congratulations to you both, phenomenal playing out there.